everyone so welcome to my video as you can tell it's not makeup like collection makeup routine none of that today um, if you're wondering though what products I used on my face how I did it these lashes then I will leave a link below or go check it out it's just a full face of drugstore makeup featuring a small business called Zola Cos I think I've said I think I'm saying I'm saying this on the same day as uh, I filmed it so I don't know whether I'm actually saying it right but she sells lashes and I will leave all her details down below I'll leave my discount code you can use uh, Molly XXO 10 for 10% off your order um, here is all the details that you need to know all that jazz and go check her out in the comments below these are lashes I'm not saying the name because I can't actually say the name but yeah, so in today's video, I actually, uh, a couple of days ago, a week ago, something like that, uh, asked you over on my Instagram for some questions because I was going to do a QA. and a I didn't get that many, um, <laughs> never mind. Uh, so this video might be short, but we all know I ramble, we all know I chat, so yeah. Um, and I'm sitting on my bed, obviously. And I've also got iced coffee. I would uh, makeshift iced coffee. Little story behind this. I saw a guy on TikTok make a iced coffee. Uh, I can't remember his TikTok name. I might leave it here. Um, and he used caramel sauce, vanilla extract, and uh, like ice, and like showed you how to do it. I really, really wanted it, but I don't have ice. I don't have vanilla extract, and I don't have caramel sauce. <laughs> So I make shift. I use chocolate spread instead, and I just used a crap ton of milk. Uh, I only put one spoonful of coffee. He put two, and I put two spoonfuls of sugar. I think I put a lot of coffee in there. Like it was so strong, so I added a lot of milk. It's okay. It's very strong and yeah i think it needed ice um but i don't have like one of them ice block things so i'm gonna get one and i'm gonna learn how to perfect the homemade iced coffee because yeah it's very strong but it's also good and i hope this doesn't keep me up at night because i don't tend to drink a lot of coffee but yeah I might be a, I might be a bit mismatched because I they're just on my the questions are on my laptop then they're screenshots from my phone because I do film on my phone and they're a bit everywhere so I might repeat myself I might not but yeah I am going to say everyone's Instagram account because I did say that I will shout everyone out there is an Instagram account that I can't actually say but when we get to her question I will just put her Instagram on the uh on here on the on the video because i i'm not even gonna bother pronouncing it because i know i'm gonna butcher it but yeah so the first question is from Alyssa Heyman, Alyssa dot Heyman, and she said how old were you when you started makeup and how old are you now so i am currently 19 years old my birthday is in like a month so i'll be 20 in like a month um and how old were you when you started makeup I mean proper makeup, uh, probably when I left school, probably 16, 17 I started actually getting properly into makeup, um, I was probably about 12 when I started wearing it, uh, Garnier BB cream in the wrong shade that I started wearing, um, and yeah as I got older, as I sort of was in year 9, year 10, year 11, I started getting more makeup, asking more makeup, exploring, learning brushes and learning stuff like that. And then it was when I was actually in my first job training to be a fitness instructor. I know. Fitness is like not my forte anymore. I realised that's not what I want to do. I want to do makeup. I want to live and breathe makeup. So... <laughs> About 16, 17, I started actually pursuing it as a career. Um, and 
because I just I just feel like fitness like I'm technically a qualified fitness instructor but I never actually got my certificate I've done the exams and all things like that but I never actually got my certificate don't really know what happened there um mystery will be never unsolved but yeah I'm 19 now I'll be 20 in about a month 20 not 19 I'm not a teen no more I still feel like a 15 year old I look like a 15 year old I don't look like an adult do I guys no but yeah that's the first question I'm 19 almost 20 so the next question is from this Instagram account I can't pronounce her Instagram account if I can't figure out how to put it on the screen um then I'm sorry I yeah <laughs> she asked the best products you would recommend for those that are beginning to start something makeup related uh um by the way I'm gonna try not to edit this video too much as well because I, w I want you to see my real reactions to these questions um best product i would say the best brand revolution um revolution are the main brand that i started with them and collection and mua are the main three that i started my kind of makeup journey with and especially collection their prices are so affordable and their products are worth it they're worth more than like you pay for them um especially their foundations they're so easy to work with and yeah revolution revolution eyeshadow palettes i'm hyping up revolution right now are like probably one of the best eyeshadow palettes in the drugstore in my personal opinion there is a girl that like um I I know um, and she actually asked me what favourite brands, what would you say I can start up with because she's actually starting to sort of get into makeup and learn and I said Revolution, Revolution palettes, collection and things like that because they're so affordable and they are really really good products. Collection, MUA, Revolution, if you want to hit me up, if you want to work with me, if you want to send me makeup, hi. <laughs> no, I'm not that bad. Um, yeah, I would say Revolution, definite. They have grown so much from when I start, when I first got into them, they have grown so much. They literally just had Makeup Revolution. Now they've got Revolution Pro, I Heart Revolution. They did have Freedom, but now Freedom's gone. Uh, now they've got XX Revolution. They've got Revolution Skincare. They've got Revolution Brushes. They're amazing. They have grown so well and their makeup is so worth the price. Like... That eyeshadow palettes are like ten pounds, five pounds, and they're so worth it. Their highlighters are banging, everything's banging. Revolution MUA collection, definitely. Um, and I would definitely try out like in terms of brushes, I would definitely try out drugstore brushes. Like uh, Superdrug have loads of different brushes. Revolution have loads of brushes. Um, and yeah, and Real Techniques. I know I was I was kind of put off at the start because Re Real Techniques brushes were quite expensive. They were like ten pounds for one, um, whereas like Superdrug it's like two pounds. But uh, you've also got B Cosmetics by Superdrug as well. They're really good um, and unaffordable, and the brushes are worth it. And eBay, Amazon, and eBay, their brushes are decent. <laughs> like they're pretty good. But yeah, um. And if you are on the journey to self-discovery with makeup, if you are just getting to makeup, hello, subscribe. And if you want any tips on like for people who, or if you are someone who is starting up makeup learning stuff, let me know. Ask, feel free to ask me comments, uh, ask me questions in the comments and I will ask, I will answer them. Um, and if you want like a video about something, about starting up, makeup, career, kind of thing like that, let me know and I'll be trying to help you. I'm obviously starting my makeup journey as in business only quite recently, but like I can help you. I've been doing makeup since I was like 15, 16, properly, like properly. 
before that, let's just not go into that. But yes. I'm gonna be high as a kite on coffee by the end of this video. But yeah, the next two questions um, are actually from my boyfriend because he's so supportive, bless him. Uh, I mean, they're not really questions. One is, one's not. One of the questions is why are you so beautiful? I'm sorry, I have, I have to put this in here because he's such a sweetheart. Uh, the other question is, what made you get into makeup? YouTube. YouTube, social media, friends, just like going to Superdrug when, when I was younger with my mum. I was just obsessed with the makeup and I just went, I want to put all of that on my face. Uh, yeah, definitely YouTube has a, had a big impact on my life. There are so many YouTubers that I follow and I've been following for absolutely years. Um, I think if you go on to my channel, you can see who I'm subscribed to. Uh, if you can, I'll make sure you can, go check them out. I have so many, I have just, I can't even name them all. Uh, but Shanixo, uh, Steph Toms, Hannah, St Hannah Schroeder, Schroeder, I'm gonna butcher that obviously. Who else? Rebecca Cable Makeup, Misha Grimes, all those others, there are probably a few others. Oh, Carrie Ed Ryan as well, I recently discovered on TikTok and now I follow her on YouTube as well. She's helped me a lot. So yeah, just YouTube and social media have really helped me and that's what made me get into makeup. Um, and I'm forever grateful to be able to have like YouTube and stuff like that. <laughs> I've just seen one question which I'm not gonna say on camera because it's very rude from my boyfriend because he just feels like he can say it and Dylan the answer to your question is maybe I don't know we'll have to see what kind of mood you're in when you get home from work I don't know <laughs> he's not even gonna see this like I'm not even uploading this the same night but yeah let's just ignore him shall we very in a in, in inappropriate and in, immature boy but we love him it's okay uh the next question is from my soul beauty uh she asked favorite brand i'm gonna say two i'm gonna say one from the drugstore and one from high end revolution i'm obsessed they need to hit me up okay i have so many of this stuff revolution is probably my favorite drugstore brand because I won't go on too much, but I just love their stuff. I love, I just love all of their stuff. I love their brushes, I love everything. I love their highlighters, everything, everything. Uh, and favorite high-end brand. I'd have to say it's Too Faced. I don't have many of their stuff, but I have most of them like high-end wise because like, not only do I love the packaging, but I actually just really love their products. There's so many things I've used so many times, uh, which I'm a bit like short for money at the moment. So I'm not, so I haven't repurchased quite a bit, but their hangover range, their hangover primer and their hangover setting spray. I've probably had about four of them um, and I haven't been able to repurchase them recently. And their uh, loose setting powder, their ethereal, Born This Way setting powder. I love it. Oh my God. <laughs> I need to repurchase. Um, now they're actually on Beauty Bay. They were on Debenhams and now Debenhams is non-existent. Um, so I recently discovered that they're on Beauty Bay. I don't know whether all the range is on Beauty Bay, but I'm going to maybe treat myself when it's my birthday and buy some hangover sprays and things like that like I love the hangover spray I love I just love it oh my god I can't rave enough about Too Faced they are so good their foundation's my favorite their concealer their highlighters their blushes their bronzer Too Faced Soleil Cocoa Chocolate Bronzer whatever it's called Smells of chocolate smells amazing. Definitely try Too Faced. Tooth toothpaste, Too Faced cosmetics if 
you want to explore high-end brands they are so good and their packaging is just amazing i just love their packaging it's just so good but yeah the next question from my soul beauty is who inspired you to do makeup who now sorry if the questions are really similar like to each other um I'd say YouTubers like Shanxo and Hannah Scroda definitely inspired me a lot. Um, and I've been following them for years now. And they're the two that I've just never not watched. I've always watched all of their videos and I've just been a huge fan of them. I love them to bits. And Hannah Scroda recently had a baby and she's so cute. Oh my god, like if you follow Hannah, Hannah Scroder, I'm probably, I keep saying her last name really, really bad. Um, but honestly, her little baby girl, London, is so bloody cute. Oh my god, if you don't follow her, follow her now. And her baby's gorgeous. She is so adorable. Oh my god, I've got baby fever. I'm too young, <laughs> I'm too young. <laughs> but yeah, definitely her and Shanix. So Shanix so recently got married. Oh my god, she looks stunning. Those two I've been watching for years, and like they're my favourite. And I just get tips and tricks from them. I just love it. Yeah. Um. Now I've already answered this question, but I am just going to shout the person out. Mary Rose Makeup asked, "What made you start doing makeup?" I've already answered that question, but. I thought I'd just give her a little shout out anyway. Um, then Beauty by Beauty by Jody Pratt. I think that's her name, sorry. Would you rather prefer a natural makeup look or glam makeup look? I think it's got to be glam. As you can tell by my face today. I only prefer natural when it comes to going out like to the shops or going to work um just because i know that i'm not very confident when it comes to glam for glam makeup going outside <laughs> i feel like i get judged quite a bit because people don't see it very often at the moment especially um but i prefer glam indoors natural outside because i don't feel like i'm gonna get judged that much um yeah i don't feel I'm not very confident outside when it comes to makeup. Um, yeah. Oh my god, okay, I've already, already answered those questions. Okay. Okay. Is that literally it? Oh my god, have I literally run out of questions? Is that literally it? Let me go through them again. Oh my god. Yeah. Um... Okay, I've answered those questions. Okay, I've answered those. They're the same. They're the same. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Um, so I've already answered those. There we go. From Makeup by... Makeup by Ma Madeline X. Yeah. Uh, she says, where are you from? If you can't tell, I'm from the UK, but mainly I, uh, I'm, I'm from Essex. I'm not going to say, obviously, too much detail because creepy people watch my videos. <laughs> but I'm from Essex, if you can't tell by my accent. Um, between Chelmsford and Colchester, that's as much detail I'm, as I'm going to give. Between... Between Chapswood and Colchester. Um, yeah, because if you do want your makeup done and you're between Chapswood and Colchester, hit me up on my Facebook, hit me up on my Instagram, and I can happily get you booked in after April 12th. But yeah, um, that's where I'm from. Love it. Absolutely love it. Ah, so expensive. Essex is so expensive for housing. <laughs> I want to move out, guys, but so expensive. 
then the last question is silver or gold again by makeup by Ma madeline x silver it has to be silver <laughs> in terms of in terms of jewelry um it's uh, like i like silver in terms of jewelry um in terms of makeup gold like gold pinky champagne eyelid eyelids eyeshadow but highlighters it's it's, <laughs> it's gold it's gold yeah i don't actually know how long this video is um it might be like 20 minutes long i don't know i like to film in little parts but yeah, if you have any more questions let me know in the comments below i've now got to tidy my room because it's an absolute pigsty from filming and then changing camera setting and getting my laptop up and yeah if you have any video ideas leave them in the comments below um if you want to see this makeup look it is my full face of drugstore makeup times zola cos cosmetics Again, my discount code if you would like to have 10% off your purchase for lashes that are like $7.99 and $14.99 and some hydraulic face masks. Um, I question myself all the time. But yeah, it would really mean a lot to me if you could follow me on my social media platforms, give me likes, comments and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. I would really, really appreciate it. And yeah, I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.